Rightio, a couple of top tips for reusing old paint. Now, the first thing is just to get the lid open. You'll find that generally it's been sealed shut by the paint. So what you've got to do is get your scraper, a sturdy one, or a screwdriver in the side and just hit that thing down there. If you have a look in there, you can see the colour. It's okay, it doesn't need too much mixing. Sometimes you'll see a black film over the top where the colour's really separated. In this case, it's okay. Now, you could just mix it up with a hand paddle, but that can take ages if the paint has well and truly colour split. Or I prefer the paddle attachment for the drill. You do it in no time. Now that's pretty good. Once the air gets to paint, it starts to dry. So you're going to find that you might get little lumps all the way through it. And when you put it on the wall, those lumps are going to show up and ruin the job. The way to get rid of the lumps is pretty simple. Once you've got your colour right, grab a hold of these pair of stockings and then get the tin, wrap the stocking around the edge and pour the paint out. Oh, actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to get a pair of man's second best friend on. Latex gloves. Thank you, doctor. Now. Oh, in it goes. Cool. What's happening here? It's just like a sieve. See it? Big ball of paint. He's lump free. Any lumps in the paint are caught in the stocking where they belong and the rest of this stuff is ready to go on the wall. If you're not going to use all of the paint on the job at hand, now's the time to recontain the stuff. So what you get, something with a lid. As long as you've got a screw top lid, you're laughing because you can seal that thing up. That gives you paint its best chance of surviving as long as possible. Now, just pour what you're not going to use into your jar. Oh, smooth like silk. That ought to be enough for me. Okay. Still not a drop on me. What you can do, if the jar is a little bit big, is get some cling film, push it right down in there, just taking a lot of the air out of the jar. Lovely. Because the picture tells a thousand words, there's the colour on the top of the lid. So you know exactly what you've got when you want to use it next. Nice one. Remember, thumbs up or down, depending how you liked it. And subscribe for regular DIY fun and tips for maintenance around your place.